Yeah. 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 So you have the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. You just have to pick a couple coordinates that are on the line and just do the work. Sure. Oh. Let's go figure it out. Three faces. Whatever. Whatever. Conversational last Oh, what? What's the discussion? Sorry, I missed out. I was. He thought Y was B. Oh, no. The B is the Y-intercept. There's a very, very big difference. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, now, 7 and 3 fifths, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 3 fifths, so 7.6. Yeah, sure. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, get out of here. You <laughs> missed. All right. So, uh, that's 7 and 0.6, or 7 and 3 fifths. My slope tells me to drop 3, 1, 2, 3, and run 10. Wait. And there's my one. You mean run five? This Wait, what happened to three tenths? <laughs> three tenths is my slope. Oh, what happened? Three, what three tenths is the slope we found earlier. But three fifths is just that part it's for the winer set. Wait, what's that? Is that when you put it all together? Yeah, I put. so I took my winer <laughs> set. So hey, I took my winer set and plugged it back in to my formula. Once you find it, you have to plug, have to plug, it, have to plug it back into the generic formula. Yeah. So B is just how high it goes on Y. So you have to plug it into the equation that you did before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, all I need in that original formula is I needed my slope, which we found was negative 3 tenths, and I needed that B number, which is the Y intercept number. So I just went back and I plugged them both in, and then I can go draw. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, now. And you got that out of the coordinates. Okay, what? You got that out of the coordinates. Yes. You did that for Okay, so like I'm not changing anything. Like I just need to see something real quick. Can we do an quick. easy one? Uh, we're out of here at 12.55. All right, we got that. Sorry. All right, so let's do maybe an easier problem. This is so, yeah, I consider it. What? what? No. Okay, so let's do a different style problem. Super simple. Okay, so let's, let's look at a different one. Let's look at something that maybe is a little more, maybe more, Easy to like understand. So a little, 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 little more like trap speed. Better than expo markers. No. Now. <laughs> Japanese chalk. Japanese chalk. Japanese chalk. How would okay. you go? Oh, so this is my next example. Wait, why, why don't we have to board this? Okay. okay. So let's say, let's say in this particular problem, they already provided you the equation for your line. They didn't give you any coordinates for it. They already gave you this this equation. They said this represents your data, your line. What they want from it is they want your slope, they want the y-intercept, and they want you to go draw it. Okay? Now, if you have to draw today, you can go graph, you can go grab graph paper, but you can just freehand draw it in your notebook, and I'll take that. Now, what we need to do is get it to the right form. To understand what slope and y-intercept is, we need to, yep, we need to get it to this form, the form we just were working with. That slope intercept. Right now it's in standard. I need to get to that form so I can read up what slope is and y intercept. This is just a different problem. It's just a different example of the types of problems they're going to ask you to do. So 14 is B, right? Yeah, 14 is not 14 is not B. It's just on the standard form, it's AX plus BY equals C. It's just it's standard form. They just have the different numbers plugged in. If I rearrange it to this, then I'll know what my B number is. So I need to get Y by itself. I need to get the x to the other side, and I need to get the, that whole number on that one side. It's going to be 14. No. Is that you're the number in front of two. Oh, you got to divide it over. Go. So, There's something yeah, that I'm not getting. There's okay. something that. So, I'm going to move the x over, right? Do we agree that I have to get the x to the other side? Agree. Yeah. Okay, so I move, I, move the, I move the x over, it becomes a negative. And then 14 was positive, it was already over. The next step See, is to get y by itself. Look at seven y y right there. Yeah, Six but there's, x, but there's, but there's a one there. So I need to get it to be a one. So to get that to be a one, I have to divide everything by a seven. Oh, it needs to be a. It needs oh. to be a one y. Oh, okay, then I get it. Then the yeah, idea is that this is gone. <laughs> This is negative 6 over 7. You can put the negative sign wherever you want. Top or bottom, doesn't matter. And then 14 divided by 7 is 2. This is what I was looking for. This will tell me the questions that they asked. What's my slope? 
Negative six over seven. Negative six over seven. So it's a negative slope. It's so monotonic. It'll be lowering six and running yeah. seven. What is monotonic? It means it drops the entire time. <laughs> it's not going up and down. It's not like a wave. What are they on the it's going to like that. Uh, uh, What's it's the wave one? one? Oh, monotonic, mono meaning one. one tonic down or, or just direction? Direction. Is it group? What's the oh, wave one? So 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 oh, oh, we could have, it could be any of them. It could be a photograph, a parabola, it could be a hyperbola, it could be anything that has a curve. Do they have the consistent wave one? No, those those are not the Those are just uh, like sign graphs. Those are like tricks. Okay, now what is my y intercept on this problem? Two. F y intercept is two. Now, if you write that as a coordinate, you'd have to write it like this: zero, zero, comma two, because it's got to hit the zero on the x up two on the y. If you want to write it as a coordinate, if you don't, just leave it two. Just go find two on the y axis. I just want you to understand like the aspects of what you're looking at. Okay, homework is on the board already. It's page 7, 4 through 11, 13, 16 through 23, number 59, letter A. Now, the only thing I need to warn you of is 59 is the only one that people will be confused what you're looking at. For some reason, your textbook, and you'll figure it out pretty quick, your textbook likes to do this. So you're in your textbook, and you're looking up number 56 and 57 and 58 and then 59. And then in the middle of the page, they have a line. 59 will continue up here for some stupid reason and continue down, and this will be 60 and this will be 61. And eventually, when they get down to like, you know, 64, then they'll go down and say, okay, this is 65, this is 66. <laughs> why? No, I, I don't know why they do it. It just it's just the idea is like it, it like for me I, I saw it and I was like why does 59 just have like one sentence and then stop and goes to 65? Well it continued to the next one. So let's do 56. Let's just do a different number of Now I like 50, 59 is like the challenge question I threw So I want you to try one more time. This is due on Monday. Oh, so you have a couple days to work on. You need to like graph on this. <laughs> if you do, you can just freehand draw it. <laughs> if you want to go grab a graph, if you can, it's a lot of them is just what well, slope, what's wide. There's tape. not a lot of graphs. Uh, I have tape. Tape. Isaac, I swear sometimes I'm in this class. All right, like, hey, to book like, check. All to I'm gonna do a quick book check I'm if you have your textbook. Like if you don't, class. it's due tomorrow. Okay. So. Uh, I'm going to say it. All you have to do is hold it up. It's a yes or no, and then I'll just tell you to bring it tomorrow if it, it's not. Isaac. So, uh, let's see. Jared? Like they're like, nope. Uh, uh, Brandon? To know how nope. smart they are. Uh, Ben, you got it? it. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, let's see. Brayden's good. Uh, we got Jake. Anyone else have it? I do. Brody's okay, got good. It. We have Wyatt. Oh, wait, we have what? Erica. It's we have Brody. Uh, we have Trev. Um, let's see. Vanessa, you got yours? In my okay, that's fine. Uh, Isaac, you'll get yours probably tomorrow. Uh, Morgan, same thing. Ryan, Ryan already had the line. Sorry, sorry. Um, Eric, I got mine in my locker. Okay, that's fine. All right, tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow. And not you're not walking in here and putting it on tomorrow. It's already on when you walk in. Question. I'll check. Okay. Hey, homework's due on Monday. You can ask questions on this stuff tomorrow. We're gonna do the next section tomorrow. Intro. We should have a full day tomorrow. Thank you for taking notes. Same name, same name. Really, your notes are probably way more detailed. Hopefully, it made sense, and I wasn't going too fast. Because it was all.